Hi, welcome to Charlotte's Cooking Show. I'm Charlotte. Today we're making quiche. Quiche is the meal that you didn't think you knew how to make, but it is so amazingly simple, and when you make it at home, it tastes delicious. Before I get started on the quiche, I have to say, I have to give a shout out to my bestie Liz Tate, who bought me this Minnie Mouse apron in Walt Disney World a few years ago. Thank you, Liz. It's your birthday month. Love you. So for today, I've actually made my own pie shell pastry from scratch, um, but truth be told, every day I make quiche, I use these. They're perfect tender flake frozen pie shells. You find them in the freezer section at the grocery store. They are perfect for this. It makes the meal so quick and they come already in their own little aluminum holders and you just put them in your pie shell and pass it off as your own. In today's quiche, we're using thick cut bacon. I like thick cut bacon, but another substitute would be ham. It could be broccoli. You could have just a vegetarian quiche, all kinds of great options. But today we're using this. Let's go to the frying pan and cook it up. Okay, so now I'm going to start cutting up some vegetables that I'm going to add in. I've got some green onions here. I love green onions in quiche because they add such a nice mild flavor, uh, but they also give great green color. I'm also using roasted bell peppers in our quiche today. I buy these in the grocery store. You can find them near the pickles and the oil. They are a great option if you don't want to use a fresh bell pepper. They have nice flavor in them, a little bit of oil and some seasoning, and they add beautiful color to your quiche. So while my bacon's cooking, you can hear it back there sizzling away, I'm going to finish chopping up these roasted red peppers and I'm going to add them to the other vegetables that I'm going to use in today's quiche. I've got four or five green onions, six or seven cremini mushrooms that I've diced up small, and I've got one white onion that's all diced up. We are going to add these all together and we're going to cook them in the bacon fat so they're even more delicious. So my bacon's all done cooking. I'm just going to take it out, lay it on some paper towel to soak up all the grease. Look at our beautiful bacon, all set. And now we are going to use that beautiful bacon grease and saute up our vegetables. Okay, we've got our veggies all sauteed. Now it's time to uh, start our egg mixture. I've got three already cracked here and I will just add one more. I'm gonna give a quick whisk to these four eggs, and then I'm going to add a little bit of flour to help thicken things up. Just about a teaspoon or so. Just sprinkle it over and whisk it in. Now I'm going to add a half a cup of heavy cream. This is 18% cream. That's about half a cup. Now I'm going to use some Fontina cheese. I've just shredded up some here. Uh, it's probably about a cup and um, that adds some really, really yummy flavor. It's got a little bit of a kind of a stinky smell to it, but it's fantastic, it tastes really good. Uh, I need about a half a teaspoon of some kosher salt. That's good, nice big pinch. And uh, the same amount of some ground pepper. Now let's add some bacon. Mix it up. We want it to be hearty, so add lots. So I've got all these beautiful veggies. I'm gonna add half the amount in here and just see how everything looks um, because we do want it to be really hearty, but we don't wanna to put too much in. So we'll just mix this up and see how it's looking. That looks so good. We've got lots of bacon in there, lots of nice veggies, and now we're ready to pour this into the pie shell. Okay, the time has come. We have our beautiful pie crust that we've pre-cooked and it's ready now to receive this beautiful egg mixture. So, here we go. Pour it in. Look how hearty that is. And when that cooks, it's going to fluff up a little bit, of course, because of the eggs. And, uh, and then you're going to let it sit, cool, and then eat. Check it out. Doesn't that look great? Thank you. 
Our quiche is done. It looks and smells delicious. Now it's time to cut into it and see how it looks. The crust cooked beautifully. It's flaky and delicious looking. And look at that. Look how nice and hearty. All the big thick layers of all this delicious food. That's why we went with the big bacon. There we go. I always like to serve mine with a little bit of salsa. And of course, a couple of green onions for some garnish. Now's the time. It's time to eat. Quiche is great for lunch, for the salad, supper, night lunch, brunch. Anytime. Oh my gosh, you guys. You have to make this. Make a quiche, you'll love it.